All right, Brian from Garage Hall. Today we are working on the electrical wall connector for our Tesla Model 3. And this is the, the Tesla wall connector that we got. A couple things you're gonna need. Uh, one, and uh, actually first and foremost, I am not a licensed electrician. Uh, I'm one of those glorified fix-it guys, as you can tell from my, like the shop and the tools and the car lift and car tools and all that stuff. So. Anyway, uh, consult a licensed electrician before taking this job on yourself. Um, it is doable. Just a couple things that you got to gotta go through and, and take care of first. Uh, one is going to be the cable. You need the right size cable. And I got the 50-foot uh, the metal clad 6x3 type 6AWG. I'll put the links below. Uh, basically, it's a protected by metal clad because I am going to actually run it down part of the wall on that side of the shop just to kind of give you like a heads up on what we're going to be doing and you will need a 60 amp breaker which we have over here and this little guy it's a 60 60 amp so it's basically it's a, it's a two wire sort of breaker and we are going to be mounting it in that corner that's uh, the cover of my box. I have it taken off. And I cut in a little service panel on the top. But basically, I'm going to be running the wire down through the wall, down through that little service port. And then I'm going to be running it across our little storage area. And then we are going to be uh, running the cable down the wall. And then I'm going to basically run it across. And then we are going to drill through this part of the wall here. And you can see how we have the, uh, the regular Tesla plug out here right now. So, and then we're going to mount it on, uh, on this wall right here. Actually, right here. Sorry. Uh, we're going to mount it on this outside wall right here, right before my, uh, my gate. I'm surprised the puppies aren't out here running around. But uh, we're going to mount it right here, probably about eye level. And then typically we park the, uh, the Tesla in the driveway like right here. Um, to kind of give you an idea of where the extension cord is sitting right now. And a couple toys in a in a driveway, but back in here. And I'll give you a little bit closer view of the box itself. So you can kind of see what if you've never taken your cover off, that is basically what you're dealing with. And we're gonna mount it in that empty spot right there at the bottom with that 60 amp breaker. And let's go over, since we went over that, let's take a view that's actually what's inside the box and what you get. So anyway, you have to make sure you match up your circuit breaker with the box you're buying. Get that cable. You're gonna need these basically these clamp connectors, three quarter inch, and that you mount on top of your electrical box that'll hold the wire in place. Um, I am actually, using this tube to run a wire through the wall when it goes through on that section over there so that's going to run through the wall and i bought a whole dozer it's one by three eighths of an inch and that's basically going to cover this piping i forget what size this actually was so if you're going to run oh it's uh it's one inch by two inch this is the size of this uh, pvc pipe i cut it to to length to go through the wall and um you need the 1.3 ace to basically fit the diameter of that. And that's why I'm going to slip this iron clad through the wall. Even though you don't need it, um, I'm just using it as kind of like an extra, extra precaution. Uh, and I stripped the, the iron clad back uh, basically 36 inches. So that box roughly measures about 18 inches from top to bottom. And I'm basically just going to use extra wire so we can have some wiggle room to get in there. But anyway, this is the uh, the Tesla wall connector. Um, we opened it and peeked at it before, but basically you are going to get the uh, the wall connector, and it gives you kind of some brief instructions. And I mean, they are pretty brief. It gives you kind of like an overview of the tools that you're going to need. It tells you what comes in the box. It gives you some other little directions there. Then it comes with like your cardboard orientation, what you're going to need. Uh, we are actually going to go for this middle configuration. Um, actually, no, hold that. We're actually going to probably go for one of these end configurations because it's going to be coming through the wall. 
uh, not from the top or bottom entry. So just so you can kind of keep an eye on that. And it comes with the charger that's in a box. And, you know, there's nothing crazy about that. No Elon Musk signature. Uh, I don't know if he actually signs these or not. But uh, So that's the inside backing of the box. And then this is going to be your uh, cover plate that you're going to be bringing the wires in. And give you some screws to help mount it on the wall. But basically we're going to be popping out one of these hole pieces here at the bottom and then running the wires internally here and then you have your uh, your l2 and l1 connectors there and then once you have this mounted on the wall this simply plugs back into this this base plate um yeah and that that's about it and then the other side of the box has the the charger jets in there so nothing super complicated um, however, it's going to take a lot of measuring to make sure that you guys get everything lined up properly to where you're going to have it on the wall. And like I said, uh, make sure you have a tape measure so you can measure everything. And we're going to mount ours probably about, you know, uh, probably about as high as that box is on the outside exterior of the building. And that is basically just going to be, so it's eye level. So when you drape the wire over the top of it, um, it sits there pretty much. And again, I have a little bit of experience messing around with, uh, you know, wiring and electrical. Uh, basically ran all the electrical boxes in the, the entire garage, wired up my lift and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's it's something that's doable. You just got to, like, take care of what you do and how you do it. And I will post some other videos on what I do in a box as well as how I ran it through the wall. Um, probably chill the process of drilling and measuring and all that fun stuff too and just to give you guys kind of a more comfortable feel of, of what you have to do and what's going on but i'm sure as more electrical uh car uh, electrical cars as more electrical cars come on the market uh this is going to be something that a lot more people are going to have to tackle and do themselves but anyway uh last thing on a breaker is always make sure that you want to look at your breakers in your box, and then you want to make sure that you get similar, um, the exact same kind that's going to fit. And then make sure that you look at them pretty close and carefully. Make sure you don't buy the wrong breaker, because uh, I think this was about 40 bucks, 40 or $50 for the 60 amp breaker. Uh, anyhow, I'll leave the links below for basically, I think, just about everything that you'll need. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, as always, Brian from Garage Mahal, I'm here to help. Be safe out there, guys. Thanks. Bye. And I always forget, thanks for watching and subscribing. I'm very grateful for, for that. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.